Hi one, and welcome to part two of building my airboat. Uh, in the previous video, we've got done so far, where we mounted the motor, the electronics, and the rudders, and we found out that placing the rudders in the center doesn't really work. You can check my first video to see how that ended. So in this video, I will first work on moving the rudder to the back and also figuring out how this unloading bucket will work uh, with the tipping mechanism and uh, we'll see how that goes i will probably need to i don't know my maybe move this all the way to the back or in a some sort of an extension and then have this somewhere in the front uh, i'll see how it goes So here's where I am at. I've moved the brackets for the rudders all the way to the back. That way they can provide the rotational moment that the boat needs so in order to turn properly. And I also bring them a bit closer together than the, what they were on the front. That way when they are tilted they will provide, uh, they will kind of be a stop for the air and push all the air to the side so the boat hopefully turns now. Uh, the problem that I now have is the placement of the load bucket and since the others are now on the back I had to move that bucket to the center of the boat and for that to work and be able to dump out all the material from there I'll need to cut out this piece of the plastic all the way probably to the pivot point where the bucket will be mounted here in the back. Um, I'm a bit worried that that might cause some wobble here, but I think that I'll be able to fix that with the material that I'll add to the bottom of the boat to improve the buoyancy, so that should theoretically add some rigidity. If that is still a problem, I can still connect these wooden pieces, one on the front and on the back, with some screws and more wood on the bottom, and hopefully that should make the whole thing rigid. So. Now on to cutting this middle section, so I'll be able to dump out the material in, uh, in the water.
I want Bill here editing this video. While I'm finishing off the skirt on the airboat, I wanted to jump in and thank you all for subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot and it helps me promote my work to more people. So hopefully they are also inspired to go ahead and uh, try new things. Um, additionally, I want to thank everyone else that watches and I encourage you to subscribe. Uh, I usually make weekly videos where I tackle electronics, coding, Arduinos, or making, or just making in general. So I'm sure you'll find something of interest. Uh, these videos take up a lot of my free time, so any help that I can get from you is really beneficial. And subscribing is the least that you can do for me. If you want to go a step further, I have a Patreon account that I haven't really shared so far, where you can go in and support me and my work. Uh, so you can go to patreon.com slash taste the code and choose any of the levels there to go and help me to continue making these videos. Again, thank you and uh, let's get back to the build. I went ahead and added this foam all the way around the boat. Um, I have it here on the front where it's kind of uh, rounded off so anything that comes like weed or something like that will go hopefully underneath and I went uh, Through the process of making sure that all of the joints here have enough of the hot glue uh, So hopefully they are all watertight This goes all the way to the back where this whole area is now enclosed this is the spot that whenever we have a bait here and we drop it Hopefully it goes with the fishing line and it goes directly in the water and nothing gets tangled. Next step is to return the rudders and connect everything up on the front with the servo. And we're off to another test run. I won't be mounting this bucket until I have it confirmed. Although I purchased a door hinge that my plan is to have it bolted to the case here and this bucket will then be bolted to this piece so that will be the axle on which um, the whole thing moves. I need to determine what will be the final placement of that so everything moves properly uh, but I think that it should work out and then I will move this with the servo but that's a uh, different topic and I'll probably do another video on that when I get there. So now uh, on to mounting the rudders and another test run. Hopefully this time I'll remember to record it and you're gonna have a first row view of how it goes. <laughs> 